Okay, everybody. Hello. I am back. Happy New Year. It's now the 2nd of January. I've had a few days off. I'm very ill. Um, but my last video, I said that I was going to do a Simulor rework. So I am now on to the Tonkor. Um, another old favourite. Looking at it, um, I've I've put five former on it now. Rebuilt it for the third time. Um, and it's still it's pretty it's 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 not very good honestly. Um, the last time it was nerfed, I think they nerfed the crit chance on it, and there is no change to the crit chance in all of this. They basically changed it to be a bit more like a grenade launcher, like a traditional grenade launcher. I don't know, screw with some fire rate. Uh, this is probably the most important one here. The radial damage is increased and essentially doubled, but it's not quite double. Um, 50% damage fall off added. Um, yeah, it's it's just it's just a they've changed it to a standard grenade launcher. Not much has been changed to it to make it, you know, meet the current meta, quote unquote meta in Warframe. So I will quickly jump to the smoke room and show you my build. Okay, so I'm at the smoke room. Uh, I have a couple of things to say about the Tonkor actually. Um, this is the build that I'm running, standard. This is standard build for damage, corrosive, blast, puncture. It's okay, the status is not that good, but the crit, again, it hasn't been changed since the last time, so it's still the same stats what you're looking at. Um, Vigilante Armaments um, just puts it over that, that limit where you could shoot three. Um, I think it's three. Uh, no, it's, it's two. No, 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 it's three. Yeah, yeah, three. Um, so, 50% chance to shoot three. Um, yeah, it's just a standard crit build, um, one dual stat element, and Storm Ringer, because I could bring myself to form it again if I wanted to add the, the single stat, the single element. So I put a dual stat. Uh, you could swap that out for more stats, but, I mean, it's, 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 it's okay. Honestly, it's fine. This is fine. It, it does damage. It will do most of the content. Probably not those hard-hitting bosses like uh, Let Krill, stuff like that, because you probably want to take something a bit more specialised for those those fights, probably a sniper or something. Um, but it will wave clear quite well, uh, and especially Firestorm. So the only reason I'm not taking is this, this is because it needs these mods, but if it didn't, if I could fit this on, I would, because the blast radius damage has been increased. This makes it stronger. It just it it's just a good AOE weapon now nowadays, so it's it does it does the damage. Um status, um so this is the build that I was like testing around with, trying to like buff the status up a bit and it's it's not that good honestly. I'm not even gonna show you what it what it can do against the level uh, so I'm gonna be fighting the same four level one hundred corrupted gunners. Um, I'm not going to show you what it does against these because honestly, I don't want to waste your time. It's just dead content. I'll be sitting here shooting most of my ammo into these guys and they won't die. Um, you could change the elements around, probably take it for a, like an infested mission or something, but it's it's honestly not worth your time. There are better grenade launchers now now that are out, like the Zara and stuff. But this is the build that I took. Um, I would say that it's a good low-level wave clear, much like the Amprex used to be. Um, so Firestorm just helps with that, it's, it's just satisfying, it's, it's a very satisfying, this, uh, the thing about this game now is now beam weapons have been changed, um, if you want to go and take the absolute min max wave clear, take a beam weapon like the Amprex or the Atomos or um, something similar uh, and you'll clear most of the content in your wave clear just fine, but if you want to have some fun, you want to change up your pace, um, I wouldn't even say much the Tonkor really, but another grenade launcher, maybe maybe a rifle. Um, but yeah, like this this it's okay, right? So th 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 this is it. I'm, I'm gonna show you what it does now, rather than ramble on. Um, yeah, I'll show you what it does. So again, I'm gonna say four corrupted heavy gunners, and I'll just show you what it does. It's it's okay. I mean, it does the job. It does the job. Like not perfectly, not quickly, but when you hit that corrosive proc. You know, it knocks them out fast enough. It's nothing special. I mean, my my Zar, I have a rhythm for my Zar, and honestly, if you're gonna go, if you really want a grenade launcher, don't bother with this. This is probably now Master of even though they changed it. Um, I mean, you're never really gonna come across four of these at once anyway, but probably a bombard or a napalm or something. And then I'll just show you in comparison my Zar. Um, again, form it up. 
I have I have this, but I mean I can swap this out. Um, probably f I don't know for like point strike or something. Maybe vigilante armaments. I can swap that out, and it will probably do a lot more in the way of damage and all that stuff against the same. So if you're gonna go for a grenade launcher, just don't bother with the tongue cord. Try and use it for mastery fodder, but it's fine. But yeah, see this thing, this thing does the job, L nice status, and that's without my ribbon as well. I mean with the ribbon it will probably one shot these things because my ribbon's got like crit chance multi shot on it, it's, it's a scary weapon. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're going to get the Tonkor, um, let me know what you think.